Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you and we welcome you to the beautiful Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Beverly Hills, California. One of the most highly anticipated fights of the year. It's champion versus champion with Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant. I feel good. I feel ready for the fight. I always ready for a fight. It's part of my life. I want to make history in boxing. That's why I'm here and so it's important for me. Si tuvieras que poner en una lista la, la importancia de tus peleas, ¿dónde pones la del 6 de noviembre? De las más importantes, porque es eh, unificar títulos, eh, una de las cosas que muy pocos han logrado. Que es para todos los mexicanos. We're going to try and do just a slow walk in. And you guys will stop, so we're your respective spots. In three, two, one. He's got somebody in front of him who he knows is not scared of him not here to just sit all quiet and hand over his belt and ride off into the sunset. Like, that's not why I'm here. Um, For some reason, I think it yeah. strokes his ego the wrong way. He don't like that. I respect his skills. He have a, a lot of skills in boxing, but the way he say bad things, that's not my way to promote fights. But uh, he come with that, okay, you got what? You won. I don't know. I don't look at him any different than anybody else that I fought. He's just, to me, he's another opponent. So, how do you think he's going to act? That's up to him. Is there anything that scares you, Canelo Alvarez? What, what frightens you? <laughs> Nothing about boxing. No. This well, is what I love. Yeah. So. Well, my pleasure to introduce the principals at this time. We're going to bring them out. They're going to face off for the very first time. Oh, no. This whole might blow up for real. I might just ruin all this today for real. Please welcome the undefeated and defending IBF super middleweight champion, Caleb. <laughs> 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 See soon. Well, you will see something different. Yeah, see soon. I promise you. I you you want to pay everything. You want to pay everything. You want to feel something different. You want to feel something different. You wanna feel something different. I promise you. You will see. You want to feel something different. Yeah. You know in this level. You know in this level. You want to see. You want to. You want to see. You want to see. You want to see. Okay. 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 I don't tell him. On November 6th, two men who have reached an impasse will clarify what combat is for. Yes, the stakes are high in this blockbuster bout for an undisputed championship held in a fighting mecca that is no stranger to history. But this is not just a boxing match, at least not in the traditional sense. It's not defined by celebrity spectacle or media attention it's more primal than that it's two men who seek comfort and clarity through violence Mama mia. tremendous punishment oh wow two men with broad shoulders who carry unfathomable weight deep within their hearts from the ashes of despair loss and poverty these men are not fighters because they're athletes these men are fighters because they don't know how else to live. The work, But clarity remains a tricky concept, especially when it's delivered by fist. Because on November 6th, answers will be served the old-fashioned way. And only one champion will receive the comfort he seeks. All of you who tell me what I can't do, a lot of you live believable lives. I set out to live an unbelievable life and accomplish unbelievable things. He thinks that if he beats you, he'll have a big name there. Everybody thinks the same thing. It's a story for all my fanáticos, for all Mexico. We're going to make history, if God wants, together. Most fighters don't even look like this on the scale.
Oh my god, look at that thing. <laughs> you like it? Fire. Te gusta? Yeah, it's perfect. It's in the center. Yeah, I love it. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad for a boxer. No, you're a golfer right now. And then at three o'clock, back to boxer. <laughs> <laughs> Attempting to master another sport is how Canelo Alvarez clears the noise. Shorter. Mm -hmm. okay. And with the emotions charged in the lead up to the November 6th bout, seeking an undisputed championship will require intense focus. The way Canelo sees it, that doesn't mean only in boxing. Before my training camp is gym to my house, gym to my house. In some point it's getting boring, you know, the routine. For my head, something outside of boxing is good. That's such good flow to it. Good rhythm, huh? Sí. Like, es un deporte muy adictivo y la verdad es que me ayuda mucho en mi vida. Me ayuda mucho en mi vida porque es un deporte que te relaja. Cinco horas jugando en el campo, llego a mi casa relajado. Patient. Patient. Please, bro. Te crisis, te crisis, ayoleto. Pero es un deporte muy difícil y por eso me gusta. Soy una persona que le gustan los retos y... It's too fast. No, it's too fast in the middle, so you just kind of lost your flow. Siempre que quiero seguir aprendiendo, aprendiendo, aprendiendo. At the end of the day, he wants to be the best. We all know that about his boxing, and he takes it straight to his golf, and that's why he is the way he is, you know, when he plays with me. He wants to beat me every single time, or beat anyone he plays with, which is, which is pretty cool to watch. It's pretty easy, huh? Yeah. Pretty easy when you believe in your shot, right? It's just do it. You're showing off for the cameras now, bro. Tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm about to have me a good time today. I got more than enough time. I got to waste. You don't become the pound for pound king without drive. But rather than dial back in his second decade of boxing, Canelo has added a golf obsession to his twice daily training. And with four bouts in 12 months, he's continuing a lightning bolt sprint towards becoming the undisputed super middleweight champion. Yo creo que nunca se había visto, ¿no? En tan poco tiempo, en, en menos de un año, lograr ser el campeón unificado. Entonces, para mí eso es hacer historia y es lo que quiero en mi carrera. Es, es, es algo, algo importante. I'm from a small town called Ashland City. It's right outside of Nashville and uh, country, you know what I'm saying, from the woods. I'm not from some big boxing community. You know, there's no like community of fighters where I could be like, copy them firsthand, or it was just like on my dad and then I would watch YouTube. Caleb Plant has held true through a life of extremes. And the sizable chip on his shoulder is the product of a family ethos where belief runs deep. On our first gym experience, we put tape down in the shape of a square, and that's where we would spar. We didn't have any rings, so the parents would literally just hold hands and stand around, kind of make just that's the closest we could come to a ring, you know, just this is where you fight at. This profession is not for the faint-hearted. I was very hard on him. I pushed him as hard as I could push him. Maybe, maybe too hard sometimes, I'm sure. I can remember like being a number one seed at a tournament and getting a buy on my dad going to the commission the night before, pulling me as the first seed and putting me in the last seed and telling him if my son wants to win this tournament, he, he's got to fight every day. He don't get a buy. And I'd be like, man, what? you know, let me get a buy. But, uh, you know, it, it was good that he did that. He was he was really tough on me, but it paid off. It worked out. Hey, bro. Yeah. Double jab, slip jab, team. 
This tough love incubator built an impenetrable confidence. And now, a champion undefeated in 21 bouts, his punishing hands have brought the pinnacle within reach. Boom, boom. Such rare air lifts plant into elite company, drawing Hall of Fame visitors like retired 168 pound champion Andre Ward. I came out, you know, I just you see all the little nuances and layering in different rhythms. And you see it, bro. You can see yourself thinking, bro. Come and get a little shake out. He moving them legs too, like when you shot a box, and I always thought he was doing the board. Just move. Why not? Just move, move, move. This way. This way. Then go back to shot box. Just move again. Just keep getting that conditioning up with Bro, I can move for 12 rounds if I wanted to. Good job. Good job keeping that right hand up. You can keep that right elbow. In two, yep. I feel like in this sport, you know, I've been being told like what I can accomplish, what I can't accomplish my whole life, you know what I'm saying? Nice block, counter, trigger. There's no words Good that you're gonna through. convince people. You don't convince people through your words. You convince people through your actions. And touch! Good job. There's nothing I can tell them. You know, the only thing I can do is show them. Es Swarovski. Es Swarovski. Claro, y también tengo otros ahí que los voy a usar este, en esta semana. Me los mandan para usarlos y la verdad que entreno a gusto con ellos. Sí, me siento especial. Even after so many years of success and the fame and money that follows, don't mistake Canelo for the born in shorts with crystals type. Venir desde abajo y estar donde estoy, en, en el número uno y, y haciendo lo que estoy haciendo, historia. Creo que todo el mundo respeta eso. Tienes que tener mucho carácter en el boxeo para llegar a ser. Si no tienes el carácter, si no tienes ese instinto de, de ser peleador, pues no puedes llegar, pero no es lo mismo. The youngest of eight siblings and one of seven boys who boxed a fighting spirit lifted Alvarez from humble beginnings in Guadalajara to the top of the toughest sport. After turning pro at 15, Canelo has spent more than half his life conquering boxing with flair. Alongside trainer Eddie Reynoso, he has won championships in four divisions, staking his claim as the best boxer of this era. Ahí va, 10 segundos, vamos, vamos, mi dog. Modo killer. Modo killer. Va este, a veces te agarras pensando y ya ves el camino que ha recorrido, en este caso con, con Canelo, que pues ya tenemos casi 17 años trabajando. Lo más importante aquí es que no se le ha ido el, el, el hambre de, de seguir creciendo, de seguir ganando, de seguir triunfando en, en el boxeo. For Canelo, Plant's claims to the throne are nothing new. Same song, different singer. And yet, this particular opponent has made this particular bout undisputedly personal. When I take something personal, for me, it's, it's even better because my mind is strong. Uh, I train like more hard than usually. I'm gonna be in the ring that, that night and, and thinking about what happened. Es, es un buen boxeador. Es un buen boxeador, boxea bien, tiene un buen jab, rápido, buenas combinaciones, es alto. Va a ser difícil en los primeros asaltos. Eso, vivo. 
no es una pelea fácil, pero como te digo, tengo las habilidades y tengo la experiencia de poder eh, haber estado con, con, con peleador, con todo tipo de, de estilos en el cuadrilátero y, y, y pues tengo esa experiencia y, y, y ahora sí que las habilidades para, para lograr esto. Y estoy muy, muy confiado en, en, en que lo puedo hacer. No confiado en, 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 en el mal sentido, sino confiado en lo, que, en lo que sé hacer y en lo que puedo hacer. Bueno. Oh, ¿Qué pasó, mi guapa? Aquí estoy en la caminadora. <risa> Ándale, pues. Te amo. Love, love, love. My wife. If Alvarez seems smitten, it's because his life outside the ring has changed. In May, just one week after defeating Billy Joe Saunders, he married longtime partner. Fernanda Gomez. Today, after training, Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez and their daughter Maria visit Eddie Reynoso's home for a barbecue. How are you? How are you? I didn't believe much in the matrimonio. Nos casamos y, y pues estaba equivocado yo de alguna manera, estaba equivocado. Me siento diferente, me siento un hombre más feliz todavía. No, ¿Te dije que sí? No, no, no. no. Te dije. Eh, la mujer de mi, de mi vida y me hace muy feliz. Ahora sí que completa todo, todo en mí. Eso es lo único que puedo decir. Being a father, like being a prize fighter, is at once made easier by experience. And still, an evolving, unending challenge. For an achiever like Canelo Alvarez, the hard work required is part of the fun. Can you help? I'm a father of three, so you have to know each one's way. It's very difficult to be a father, because there's no manual for how to be. What are you going to do? Wait a minute. De Rosita. ¿Quieres que te pinte yo? ¿O tú solita? Okay. Oh. Ya, 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 ya. Oh my goodness, qué guapa. Es lo más bello que existe, ¿eh? ¿Oíste? Es muy difícil decirle que no, y más porque es, es muy aferrada. Es, si quiere algo, está ahí, está hasta que lo consigue. Eh, pero es muy bonito. Es la cosa, una de las cosas más bonitas que me ha pasado en mi vida. Para mí es, es mi vida entera. ¿Qué había un qué? ¿Un zombie? ¿Esa es una película de zombies? No, ¿verdad? ¿Te da miedo? Sí. Quítala. And remember, guys, asking the same questions over and over is draining for the fighter. So just try to be a little bit strategic on what you're going to ask him. Que tal es un placer tener con nosotros a Kelly Plant, who's uh, getting geared up to take on Canelo Alvarez November 6. They were talking earlier about your humble beginnings, and now you're in the biggest fight of your life. But this is how big of an opportunity this is for you. You're starting to feel that as you get closer and closer. There's a lot more at stake, of course. Yeah. As IBF super middleweight champion. Caleb Plant understands the attention that accompanies a high-stakes fight. But I feel like I'm prepared for this. Again, I've been in the main event, you know, a handful of times before on the big stage with a lot of people watching, and this is no different. But facing the world's top boxer drastically brightens the spotlight and draws a whole nother level of scrutiny. How difficult of an opponent do you see Canelo? Like, do you look at this as like, wow, like, this guy is like the biggest challenge? Yeah, this is the biggest challenge of my career. But um, every other great fighter before me has been in this position where they stepped up, they fought someone who that they 
a, a lot of people felt like that they were the underdog against, and they come out on top, and then they're the big dogs. So, I mean, it's not like it hasn't been done before. You know, I've been boxing a long time at a high level, too, so, you know, I got a lot of experience, high-pressure situations, you know, whether it's in the ring or out of the ring, and they both kind of help each other, you know? There's a duality to Caleb Plant's existence. His success, grand as it is, intertwines with tragedy. In May of 2013, the promising young amateur celebrated the birth of his daughter, Aaliyah. But soon, the young father would receive devastating news. Three or four days after she was born, I went to the national tournament, but then I got a call while I was there that seems like maybe things may not be all the way right. And it was difficult, the situation I was in, but, you know, not as difficult as the situation she was in. Aaliyah had a brain abnormality that led to hundreds of seizures a day. She would pass away at 20 months old. But near the end of Aaliyah's heartbreakingly short life, her father held her tightly, making a promise he would do anything to keep. You know, when she was still here, I would rock with her and tell her, you know, what I want to do, what I'm going to become, and what we're going to do, and tell her I'm going to become a world champion. It's not like I got to do a whole lot of things as a dad, you know what I'm saying? But I told her that's what I was going to do, and so I was going to make sure that it, it didn't matter who was in the ring, you know? You know, I want to keep that promise. It took four years for Caleb Plant to land the title shot that he had promised, and it materialized in the form of heavily favored super middleweight champion Jose Uzcatake. Then, same as now, the boxing world underestimated Plant's hard-earned resolve. A lot of people were acting like, you know, I wasn't going to win. Uh, I just felt like I really hadn't got to introduce myself properly to the world, so they wasn't really aware of, like, what I was capable of. Got two knockdowns early on and won almost every round, so... Yeah, up until this point, yeah, I would consider that to be my defining moment. Box. And the new IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Caleb Sweethands Plant! I've worked my whole entire life for this, 17 years straight. I buried my daughter in the process of trying to get this belt. I promised her that I'd become a world champion and that I'd bring her this title. And that's exactly what I'm gonna go back to Tennessee and do. Nashville, stand up! It was just indescribable, really. Like, I made a promise that I was gonna win that belt and, and I told her I'd bring it to her and that's what I did. You know, you lose someone and it just kind of puts a different perspective on time and like not to be out here, you know, wasting it because it's, it's valuable. You know, that was probably one of the most exciting nights of my whole life. When you set out off on that, on that road, that's the goal of really, I guess every fighter, right? You, I want to turn pro and become a world champion. And um, there it is, you know, what a, what a great memory. I just felt like it was the beginning of like, okay, yeah, this is what I was telling you guys, so just stay tuned. These pictures and what they represent, they're not the top of the mountain. You know, there's, there's still a lot more to accomplish. We all go through things in life that strip us down to like the bare minimum and forces you to have to rebuild yourself. And I just feel like after so many times of having to rebuild myself back up and, you know, just the, through that, I just feel like I'm unstoppable. At first glance, it seems that tough lives beget tough men. But in this case, 
blanket sentiments fail to do this story justice. Because as Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant know all too well, tough lives are not created equal. And these two champions are certainly not the same. Every once in a while, I will think back to how far I've come. But for the most part, I don't feel like it's too beneficial to just keep sitting around worrying about yesterday's victories, you know what I'm saying? There's more that I want, there's more I want to accomplish, and you know, me just sitting around bragging about what I did yesterday, it's like, not gonna help me get to what's next. In the boxing at any level, he's never fought with someone like me, and that's what we're going to see on the 6th of November. When the lives of these two men intersect, it presents a complicated picture. But strip away the chaos, the tragedies, the violence, the staggering setbacks. And what actually makes these men is simple, shared, and surprisingly serene. It's faith. This is the For two men seeking an undisputed championship, it's faith in themselves, faith they can overcome, faith that they can transcend. Faith has led them here to each other, and to the cusp of history. After all, isn't that boxing at its essence? Where regardless of circumstance, what separates the greatest champions is not just the fighting, but the faith in what they're fighting for. Cada quien hizo su historia, ¿no? Estoy orgulloso de, de donde vengo, a donde he llegado. Tienes que de alguna manera defenderte. Él sabe ya. Ya los mensajes ya están y sé que se va a preparar muy bien y hay que entregarle una, una gran pelea a la gente. Es lo que, es lo que, lo que se busca. Nice and easy. I worked to become, you know, one of the greatest of all time. I made sure to go out and make it happen. To have my name in the history books forever, that's why I'm here. Is there anything that scares you, Canelo Alvarez? Nothing about boxing. I always ready for a fight. There is a calmness to the confidence in these two men. <laughs> At least, that is, until they're in each other's presence. <laughs> Only then does belief become anger, and deeply held pride erupts. He's got somebody in front of him who he knows is not scared of him. For some reason, I think it strokes his ego the wrong way. In the boxing, there are levels. I've never fought with someone like me, and that's what we're going to see on the 6th of November. There's no words that are going to convince people. You don't convince people through your words. You convince people through your actions. Cada quien hizo su historia, ¿no? Y al final de cuentas, pues vamos a hacer historia. At the intersection of two stories are two champions who overcame insurmountable odds. Now comes the inevitable, a head-on collision with historic stakes. After all, on November 6th, only one can claim the title, undisputed super middleweight champion. And one. It doesn't get any bigger than our guest. He's none other than Saul Canelo Alvarez. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Let's go back to that press conference because that thing went viral. Hey, this is Canelo Alvarez. Don't miss my fight against Caleb Plan, Saturday, November 6th, live on pay per view. What upset you that day, Nello? Uh, the thing bothered me is that when he said, okay, you. That's, that for us, is means a lot. For me, he crossed the line, and that's why I, I push him. You warned him. You said, look, I'm going to break your jaw. And uh, I guess Caleb Plant told the media now, he needs to prove that to me in the ring. What do you say to that? And I will. Soon. <laughs> Champ, looking forward to November 6th. It should be an epic night. To many observers, the visceral contempt surrounding this fight has seemed out of character for Alvarez. They note that he's usually reserved, professional, and calm. 
The people saying that, however, didn't grow up with Canelo. Bueno, desde que me acuerdo, este, era muy traviesa, era muy peleonero también. Me acuerdo que me peleaba con los niños del kinder. Pelirrojo, pecoso, entonces me empezaban a echar carrilla y pues siempre me peleaban en la escuela. Pues si se meten conmigo, pues sale esa personalidad que tengo. Canelo learned to scrap because he had to. But that lifelong tenacity has served him well. Now a four division champion on the verge of an undisputed title. His fighting confidence is rooted deep within his soul. At the end of the day, I always win. Canelo's childhood story is a stark contrast from the life he's able to afford his children. Take, for instance, the champ's three-year-old son, Saul. Te amo muchísimo, con todo mi, mi corazón y mi alma. Boom, boom, boom. There is no doubt that the opportunities available to the boy will be plentiful. Eso. Especially with a father Eso. whose tough upbringing taught him the most valuable gift Eso. he can give his namesake is confidence in oneself. Eso. Ya 320. ¿Qué, mi amor? Muy bien. ¿Te caíste y no lloraste, hijo? No, es que eres boxeador. Los boxeadores no lloran, ¿eh? No, pero sí. Pero mira, te voy a explicar eso. Mira, bien. Hay veces que no pasa nada si, si te duele o algo. No pasa nada si lloras, ¿OK? Muchas veces tienes que sacarlo llorando, ¿OK? No pasa nada que llores. No, no importa. No te dolió y no tienes que llorar, pero si, si algún día te duele algo, te caes o lo que sea, no importa que llores, ¿ok? No pasa nada. Eh, pues dice que quiere ser boxeador. Todos los días me está viendo en el YouTube, viendo cómo peleo. Cómo... Pues me gustaría que le gustara otra cosa, ¿no? Pero pues bueno, si al final le gusta el boxeo, pues ¿qué podemos hacer? Ya veremos, está chico. Veremos a ver. For now, Saul is too young to decide what he'll do with his life. He's too young to know just who and how famous his father really is. One day, he'll understand the work and sacrifice, reaching such heights required. He's used to people coming in and just bowing down to him and handing over their belt and being happy for their check or whatever, but I don't know. I don't give none of that. That's not why I'm here and that's not why I fight. Boxing is really important to me. It's done a lot for me. You know, I feel like I'm forever in debt to this sport. Where I'm headed in life, there is no turning back. There's not like a plan B for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to see this thing out. Like, this is like, uh, this is a one-way trip. We're pulling up right now to the gym. Watch the homie Caleb, uh, you know, do his thing. To let him know we're riding with him. What's up, my boy? He came to show you some love, man. We're out here, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Las Vegas may be a city of high rollers, but it's also a home to low riders. And today, they're rolling up to support an honorary member, Caleb Plant, the undefeated super middleweight champ. I met Caleb through the car scene. I know where he came from. I know his story. He came up from the bottom, just like most of us did. We're going to have his back. He's going to have ours. It's going to be a beautiful thing. You know, you work hard, and you're a solid person. You know, it really don't matter yeah. what you look like or where you're from, you know. That's what's up. You, All right, my brother. That. Always. Caleb becoming the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world. It's the type of matchup you dream of. Your fighter fighting the best fighter in the world for all of the marbles. I embrace the challenge 100%. I like going back to that jab there. That's good. Because it just, it freezes them up and it opens up your toolbox and opportunities. The people who know Plant best have seen him summon uncommon strength countless times before. Like head trainer Justin Gamber, 
who has guided the boxers since okay. 2013. Ha. You know what I mean? When you're boom, 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 kind of going back to that and then working off with different power shots. Good job. All of the adversity that Caleb's faced in his career, all the hurdles that he's had to overcome, you know, there's no such thing as a problem anymore. He can overcome anything, and that's the key to winning. Yeah, bait and turn, so you don't get caught up in a straight line. Plant's tenacity caught the boxing world's attention in 2019 when he seized the title he had promised his late daughter, Aaliyah. That night unlocked the formula he carried through three title defenses. Fast movement, quick striking, above all, ferocious. You see him getting meaner and meaner as the fight gets closer and closer. I would describe Caleb's mentality as a junkyard dog. And that's what you need to be a top fighter in boxing. You have to have the skill, but you have to have that grit too, that, that dog in you. Boom, right there. Boom, right there. Time. Good job. Sunny San Diego might not be a boxing town like Las Vegas, but that hasn't stopped numerous fighters from flocking to the unmarked gym, where 2019 Trainer of the Year Eddie Reynoso guides the pound for pound king. Nowadays, Eddie's stable includes both current and former belt holders, like Andy Ruiz, whose seismic upset of Anthony Joshua rocked the heavyweight division. Why wouldn't I want to train her? It's a question. So many great champions here. So many opportunities, so many things that we could learn. There's gonna make myself better, you know? Being around people that are super disciplined. This guy putting a lot of pressure on me. It's amazing. This is like a dream come true, you know? This is the face of boxing. This is nowhere, nowhere else I would rather be. Ahorita estamos trabajando con alrededor como de ocho boxeadores, campeones mundiales y otros que van empezando su carrera. Me gusta enseñar, me gusta ver que un boxeador haga lo que yo le he estado enseñando y eso es lo que realmente me motiva. Más como cuando suben al ring, que ganan sus peleas, que ganan un campeonato, para mí es lo más lo más bonito que hay en este, pues en mi trabajo. Today, Eddie Reynoso is a self-made millionaire, and his story gives real meaning to the idea of the long road. As a teenager, he marched across the desert in search of a better life in the United States, where he found work as a butcher, making $100 a week. He was detained more than once, before eventually deciding to return to Mexico, where he joined his father, Chepo, in opening a boxing gym. It was in that space where Eddie first met a 13-year-old with distinctive red hair, starting a bond that would shake up an entire sport. Today, Papa Reynoso has handed the reins to his son, and Eddie's hard-fought grit and determination has proved valuable in steering his friend's rise to superstardom. Y sí soñaba con hacer algún día campeón a Canelo, hacer campeón a otros chavos que entrenaban en ese entonces conmigo, pero al final de cuentas, eh, mira, pues fue Saúl el que fue campeón y, y más que nada el mejor boxeador del mundo. Meter las fintas con el recto, güey, pum, pum y tan. Seguimos trabajando igual como desde cuando empezamos. Tenemos la misma visión de ser historia y eso es lo que, lo que, para lo que estamos aquí. 
Over the last decade, Canelo has taken on some of the biggest names in boxing, staking his claim as an international legend. The upcoming fight against Plant gives fighter and trainer yet another chance to make history. This time, as the first ever undisputed champion at 168 pounds. A relaxed, confident vibe is shared by the two men who have known each other half their lives. Hey. And today, they take a moment to roast a fellow fighter about his new ink. Ando con accesorios, cuidando las pompitas. Me pongo vaselina. Déjate la sobo. Déjate la sobo para que se te quite el dolor. <risa> Don mam, duele bien culero. Sí. Ya se te está descarapelando. ¿Te sigue doliendo? Un poquito, cuando me limpio, se está dando todo rosado. Ahorita duele bien culero. <risa> Mira, está eso gorra de los doyes. To take on the best fighter in the world. Caleb Plant needs to be in the best shape of his life. So he's brought in Larry Wade, a conditioning coach who has pushed elite fighters like Badu Jack and Sean Porter into peak condition. All right, babe. This is it. This is it. Get ready to go to hell right now. There you go. Another of Wade's former pupils is Jordan Plant, Caleb's wife. I have a lot of memories here. I have he's four years of memories because here. He's been Today, they're running on the same track where she attended UNLV on a D1 track scholarship before starting her career as a boxing reporter. He's fast. Like, we raced one time, we first started dating, and he barely beat me. But now he's, he's faster than me, but I keep up pretty good. Jordan, she knows what it takes to be a high-level athlete and the type of dedication it takes. And so she knows firsthand, you know, what we can accomplish and what we can do and where we can take this. And we're taking as far as we can together. The question is, do you sure you want to go the 300 or the first eight? Whatever you want me to do. Yeah, I don't think the first eight would be okay. But then after that, cool. you can chime in more. Okay. okay? Yeah, we're husband and wife, but the mentality in right, camp is we're teammates. I think we hold each other accountable, and, and I really appreciate that. I want you to be able to manage your energy emotions the whole time. That's really what I'm looking for. It's manage and control everything, the same way you control the ring, <laughs> the same exact way. Nothing happened in the ring unless you allowed it to happen. And so that's what this needs to look like as well. One of the things that Cable was going to establish with me, and that was he's going to be my hardest worker. If I said I wanted 50, he's going to give me 55. He wanted to outperform everyone. Sit. Good. Way to start it out. That's the way to find your rhythm. That's great. That's great work. Way to stay poised. You know, I see so many fighters, they'll reach their peak in a camp and, and then they'll fight and then they go back to ground zero. The level that I'm on and the, the next level that I'm trying to reach, there's no room for that. Nobody works harder than this kid. He's treated every fight like it's that big fight. He's dug all the holes, done the excavation, built the foundation, like everything's coming correct. Right there, right there. Swing it right, oh, I like that, I saw it. Big, 19, 20. I know what I want to accomplish and what I want to be and what I want to do in life. I'm not going to stop until I reach those things. About to get in the hyperbaric chamber. This is something new that I've added to uh, this camp. Adding in what I can after training sessions, whether it's refueling, rehydrating, or recovering that way. Doing all the little things to uh, make sure that, you know, going to this fight, you know, we've crossed all our T's and, you know, dotted all our I's. So. kind of been a little tradition here in camp that on Tuesdays we do taco night. Caleb's a blessing to have just because he's, he operates within 15, 18, 20 pounds all year long of his weight. So what that means is I can feed him tons of calories. Routines are welcome in most training camps. And even though tonight is the couple's two-year wedding anniversary, 
the plants still stick to the regimen that underpins their success. Two years uh, today, but you know, we're in camp, so we're handling business. It was our anniversary, and a lot of wives would be like, oh, well, I want to go to a nice dinner, do that. But it's like me and Caleb, we, we kind of set the tone of we're, we're focused, this is the goal, we're a no BS type of people. I think one fight, his weigh-in was on my birthday. And someone interviewed me and they said, what killed Katie for your birthday? I said, nothing, I just wanted to win a fight tomorrow, that's it. And he did. I just really believe in my heart and I know like this is his destiny. He, everything that he says he's gonna do, he's done. I'm just waiting for the bell to ring so I can just show these people who, who I really am and show him who I am. And he's gonna find out at the same time that everybody else found out when they thought that I was just some pushover and they found out when it was too late. Feel good? Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. I feel like the champ. <laughs> always, always. Better. Y este es el último día aquí jugando, pues ya me voy a la pelea. Siempre que me voy, pues extraño estar aquí jugando. Pero ahora sí que primero lo primero, ¿no? Ah, boy. Today only straight drives. No left, no right, just drilling, okay? For Canelo, it's a familiar treat to end camp. One lighthearted round before the dangerous ones commence. What up, eh? Mis amigos, mis amigos de aquí del, aquí los conocí y ahora juego con ellos todos los fines de semana. Nice. A la verdad que a mí me me concentro más todavía con las cámaras. Y a ellos no. A ellos no, ellos se van, se distraen un poco más. Good shot, champ. It's showtime. Great. Only a fool would doubt the competitive spirit of Canelo Alvarez. Whether in a friendly round of golf or a fight as charged as this one, with both personal and historic ramifications, there's but one thing that will never be disputed. A champion, after all, must triumph. I know it's a game that can be won, can be lost, but I always play to win. Siempre me arriesgo. Pues el que no arriesga no gana. November 6th is me getting my hand raised. Any means necessary. People say that, you know, like, oh, by any means necessary, but like, I've really had to buy any means necessary, no matter what, to like sit in front of this camera right here. So I know what that means firsthand. I'm not going to be able to convince these people, like, them just listen to me, but they're going to see you. Llega el momento que te enfadas, ¿no? Llega el momento que te enfadas de que eres muy callado, no dices nada. Esperas el momento de subirte al cuadrilátero y de mostrar arriba del cuadrilátero. Y pues creo que. Es el momento, yo creo que eso es lo que pasa. If two lifelong fighters had met under friendlier circumstances, they might even respect each other's story. But these circumstances are not that. Listen to me now, listen to me now, it's coming down to the two of us. Not for two men who arrived at success the hardest way. Not when the coveted title, undisputed champion, is at stake. Camp after camp. Fight after fight. For 16 long years, the remarkable rise of Canelo Alvarez has unschooled in public. He's no longer the baby-faced teen from a country known for its warrior spirit. He's the best fighter right now, from anywhere, period. I'm here to rumble. 
estaré al lado de, de los pocos que han sido unificados en la historia del boxeo, el primero en Latinoamérica, el primero en este peso, y es lo que quiero al final de mi carrera, hacer historia para... es lo que busco. This is my moment, and I'm gonna seize it. I wanna win this fight because it's my destiny. Caleb Plant, meanwhile, forged his medal in private, turning pain into promises, and promises into the opportunity at hand. My whole life, I've conquered things way bigger than boxing, things that would chew him up and spit him out. And I come out with it with my chin up. The pressure of want, the certainty he belongs, it's all being revealed right now. He knows what he's got in front of him. He's just another guy to me. You can say bad things about me and it's fine. But when you cross the line, it's different. Tú sabes, en boxeo puede pasar todo. So when two champions of such divergent paths face off on November 6th, it's already clear why they disdain each other. They don't perceive what they hold in common. They just see another man who's standing in the way. I know who I am. He's gonna find out. But when he does, it'll be too late.